Where is God of War Ragnarok? After being announced in September 2020 as an early PS5 game, why does it not have a release date yet? In this video, let's look at when we will see God of War Ragnarok next and if it will potentially be delayed. If this is your first time here, welcome. My channel is a place where you can come and discuss all things nerdy. If you enjoy your time, hit the subscribe button to join our growing community. For those of you that are returning, welcome back and thank you for all the support you've shown me so far. With that being said, let's get right into it and talk nerdy. Before talking about when we will see God of War Ragnarok next, let's look back at the announcement history for the game, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to answer all the mystery questions. God of War Ragnarok was announced in September 2020 as the last game shown of the PlayStation 5 event. There were plenty of other great games shown at this event, but to many Sony fans, this announcement was the most exciting. Directly after all the PlayStation 5 models and dates were announced to be November 12th and 19th for the respective countries, the God of War Ragnarok reveal showed a script saying, Ragnarok is coming 2021. This made fans very happy, as it was set to be within the first year of a launch of a new console. Fast forward to June 2021, where the PlayStation blog released an interview with Herman Holst. For those of you that don't know, Herman Holst is the head of Sony Interactive Entertainment Worldwide Studios. In this interview, he announced that the upcoming God of War Ragnarok would be delayed into 2022 to give Santa Monica Studios more development time for the game. Later that day, Santa Monica Studios' official Twitter account confirmed the delay with a statement claiming that they are shifting the release window to ensure that the game is released with top quality and that the team creating the game maintains safety and well-being. Moving to September 2021, we get our first gameplay reveal of God of War Ragnarok with a 3 minute and 16 second action packed trailer. Despite being almost everything fans of the franchise wanted to see, there was no release date given. Thematically, the end of the video shows a new character named Anger Boda saying, You'll get your answer soon enough. Well, some of them. While this is most likely a direct clip from the game and not made just for this trailer, many think that this is foreshadowing for getting more information about the game sooner rather than later. Later on in the month of September, Christopher Judge, the voice actor for Kratos, took to Twitter claiming that God of War Ragnarok was delayed because of him. He claimed that he had multiple surgeries and Santa Monica Studios waited for him to recover. This was a brave act as he definitely took some heat for being the reason why one of the most anticipated games of the year was delayed. Information on Ragnarok was scarce until April 20th, 2022, which just happens to be the four-year anniversary of God of War 2018. Corey Barlog, who is the director and writer for God of War 2018, made a video talking about the four-year anniversary and God of War Ragnarok. Barlog actually stepped down from directing the second game, but couldn't stay away and rejoin Santa Monica Studios in a production role for God of War Ragnarok. In the video posted by Barlog, he was quoted in the video saying, something cool is coming for Ragnarok, as everyone is tightening up the graphics on level three. This phrase is a reference to an old Westwood College commercial where two individuals are playing a video game as game testers and say that they are tightening up graphics on level 3 as a response when asked if they had finished testing the game. This phrase also has another meaning, but before I get to that, let's go back to the original questions of this video. Where is God of War Ragnarok and is it possibly getting delayed? Much like the teaser statement at the end of the God of War Ragnarok trailer, three months before God of War 2018 was announced, Corey Barlog was interviewed and use the same statement he did on April 20th. He claimed that they were just tightening up the graphics on level 3, and then 3 months later, we had the game. It seems that Santa Monica Studios has no problem with strange release windows, as not very many big games are released in April, so I truly believe that we could see God of War Ragnarok in July, which would be 3 months after Barlog's sneaky statement. I definitely wouldn't be surprised if Ragnarok is shown in a showcase in late June, early July, and we get a release date that is way earlier than we expect. As long as God of War Ragnarok is half of the game that God of War 2018 is, it's going to sell like crazy no matter when it's released. As to the recent rumors of another delay, many media sources have been caught on forums claiming that God of War Ragnarok is still coming in 2022. Most notably, a dev working with Santa Monica Studios under the name Blue Owls Medic posted on Twitter that God of War Ragnarok comes out this year. Yes, this is not a surefire announcement, and it came in March before Barlog made his video, but it should have some credibility as the user works for the studio making the game. Another reputable source was Bloomberg's journalist Jason Trier, who is well known across the gaming industry. He took to Reddit answering, nope, 
on a post that asked if the game was going to be pushed into 2023. Again, this isn't anything official, but Jason is usually a good source of information around the industry. To definitively answer the question, no, I don't think God of War Ragnarok will be delayed. It will either be a late summer or a holiday 2022 title. When do you think we will see information or a release date for God of War Ragnarok? Do you think it will be delayed? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for all of your support that you guys have showed me so far. I just recently hit 250 subscribers and I can't thank everyone enough for the support. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to help me continue growing and keeping this dream alive. If you would like to stay connected with me outside of YouTube, head over to Twitter and follow me at nightly underscore nerd. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.